I'm passionate about participation. Um, I was fortunate to have some time to write a book on participatory practice, which I co-authored with an emeritus professor, Margaret Ledworth. And um, I really do think involving people is important. And um, the whole public engagement in science is what motivates me, because when you see the light bulb moment happening, it's so exciting. and. Um, I really have, I mean I'm part of the International Collaboration of Participatory Health Research and this is what we're trying to do, we're trying to push this and say you know there is, this is a good way of looking at things and a good way of, of researching key issues um, and mostly because it's integrated into the system, it's not outside the system. Well at the moment uh, my particular research unit is within the Centre for Health Promotion Studies of which I'm a director and we focus on ecological and participatory approaches to research, it's called ECOPAN and really it's it takes forward the stuff that I initially were interested in. We, we're very focused on participatory research, that's research with people rather than on people. We prefer to be focused working with people who have, for whatever reason or other, found themselves at the low ends of society. We are interested in how people interact with their ecology, and that might mean natural ecology as well as built environment and those sorts of things and we're looking at particularly about community engagement in all respects community engagement in um, projects community engagement in um, creating choices and decision making but also community engagement in actually research um, the actual, that's where the participatory research comes and we're also interested in action so it's not just doing the research but integrating research and action and integrate it with theory as well sometimes something it's called praxis so my personal research at the moment is very much about um, researching the research if you like so what happens when you engage people in deliberative processes reflexive processes as part of the research um, and what impact does that have on the way knowledge is co-created and how uh, decisions are made for action. So it's, it comes within the broad framework of population intervention research but it takes a slightly different framework in the way it approaches it. And it's also in the language of Canada, sort of knowledge translation, integrated knowledge translation. But we're particularly focusing at the moment on what is the impact of this type of approach. My feeling is, and the research on participation shows, that the more you encourage people to be involved in something, the more likely they are to adopt new practices because they actively reflect on their own experience and can see how it fits in their everyday practice. Whereas if you just go and tell people what's what, they won't see how it fits in how they live their lives and they have to make those choices and the context is so important and that's where the environmental things come in because what works in one place doesn't necessarily work for somebody in another place. So we adopted what's called a realist approach is what works for whom in what circumstances really. I am Jane Springett and this is Public Health.